Hi everyone, I'm going to react to two Demon Slayer season four. Right? <laughs> oh, maybe I don't know why he's trying to keep it going. Is it four or five? Oh, no, it's um, Demon no, Bungo, that's five. Yeah, four. Oh, well, let's start over. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Demon Slayer season four, episode seven. Stone Hashira Gyome Himekima. Last episode was titled The Strongest Um Hashira. I thought we were gonna spend a lot of time with him, but it wasn't we were spending time with um the others, like the, the demon slayers going through his training, especially um Tanjiro and um you know Skenzeni. So Tanjiro had to learn this thing called repetitive motion and he was he used it to push this boulder, you know. And then I think that's where the episode ended. So we didn't really spend a lot of time with the Hashira himself. So I'm looking forward to this episode. And before we get into it, if you like, if you guys like my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash And I'll start this episode. And here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Why is the episode 31 minutes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's upset. <laughs> see, I saw this last episode that seeing him accomplish something, it pushes the others to do better. Oh, he did it! Juntaro? <laughs> Isn't there a letter on her? A note, uh huh. Something. Look. Nani. Is it from um his trainer, uh, the grandpa? Because uh, that's the only person that I could think of that would try to reach him. I mean, we haven't, we don't really know of anyone that's uh, associated with him in particular. I know there was, uh, if I remember correctly, there was one flashback during a previous season. It was during the the arc of the turning people into spiders when he was facing that spider demon thingy, and he was basically they were basically showing us his backstory, his time with the old man, and that there was this one person that was just talking down to him, like why is you know the old man even wasting time on you or something or other like that. But apart from that, we don't know of anybody else, so uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Damn. Can't breathe. He passed. <laughs> Sorry. Who's there to give you water? Nobody? Murata san. No, you're not. Oh, is it Himejima? What does that even mean? I'm sure it's a mantra of some kind, but I'm just... I don't know what it means. <laughs> you still need more. The village? Made the righteousness at the village? Which village? The source made village? Okay. Oh yeah, cause she was in the sun, and then the the um yeah, it was her that pushed her. Yeah, it was her that pushed him. What was that? But at least he's honest. Oh, 
<laughs> I don't think you're done. I acknowledge you. Aww. She given it to him? Okay. Aww. So cute. Wait, is that the kid? The one that I was talking about that was talking evil bad to Zenitsu on the on the left. On upper left. Now lower right. Kinda of looks like him. Yeah, him. Something always happens. Is it a demon? Wow. Yep. It's always a demon. It is him. I'm I'm hundred percent sure it's him. Are you kidding me? And he had the nerve to be right. その子供は子供を。はい。心の火を消してそう、so he is blind. Did I not know that? Did I know that? I don't know. Did she live? Please tell me she lived. <laughs> Oh, so that's where came that came from. みんな、あの人。みんな殺した。わあ。親方様が助けてくださらねば、私は処刑されていた。しかし君は逃げず、目をそらさず、嘘をつかず、素直でひたむきだった。心の目で見てきた私が言うのだから。he about to cry. Didn't he used to cry like all the time? Or oh, am I confusing him with somebody else? Aww, yes, he's crying. <sighs> That's Kagaya, right? That's his hand. I know Muzona is looking for him. Mm. Is he looking for Muzona? Is he looking for Muzona? Because he doesn't want that's part of his charm. 
Don't be making fun of him. Where is Zenitsu? I want to see Zenitsu. <laughs> Oh. Of course, they're not telling us. See, bring his fish, okay? Why is he so serious? Wait, is the old man dead? Clearly something happened. I don't think I've ever seen him so serious before. I don't like seeing him like this. I'd rather see him whine. Oh my god, this animation, man. He's just walking, but it's just so beautiful. I knew it! I could feel it. But they say you should keep away from Sanami, so... ひのこ、ひのかた。ああ。それはお前たちと一緒だ。それはそういう意味じゃ。いや、でどうの。水の呼吸。ひのかた。Oh well. It's a draw. Okay. He just came there. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh my god. Okay. But why would he assume that they were fighting over that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <笑>と、ピーズ。Uh, uh, why am I afraid that the demon's gonna attack? The eye? That scared me. Did he find him? Oh my god the way the outro is like, I knew it was from his perspective, but the fact that the. <laughs> That's 
why the episode was 30 some minutes long. I feel so tense right now. I love the the sound design, like as he stepped up the board, well, walkway, whatever, the click, click, it stopped. Yeah. <sighs> And you're looking beautiful. Whatever. Bruh, what the heck is this episode? <sighs> like, I know that, like, well, it was said last, last episode that. Muzan was having what's her name? Nakime, you know, keeping an eye an eye on the demon slayers and following them around because he wanted to find Ubuyashiki and he wanted to find Nezuko. So when this episode, like toward the end there, you had <sighs> Shinazugawa like walking along. You know, as he was walking and he was feeling pissed off because he couldn't find Iguro and Tokito and at the time, I didn't think nothing of it until, you know, he caught the eye and then he's like, we've been infiltrated. And then you hear Muzan's footsteps. You see Muzan like walking. You see the, the like, uh, Kagaya on his bed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, please tell me he did not, did he just find him? You know, and he was, you know, they went into the outro. The the song was playing. You know, I I said it pre previously that I felt like the outro was really like somber and whatnot. And I went out and looked at the lyrics, and I felt like the lyrics was from Wuzan's point of view. And the fact that they went through the outro, but then the song continued, and then it was playing as Muzan was making his way toward. Gagaya, and I'm like, and then I, so like he showed up there. Kagaya is like, nice to meet you, and Wana. So he's also never seen Muzan before, apparently, because last episode Muzan is like. You know, what do you look like? In the English dub, uh, if I remember correctly, he's like, once I find out what you look, the, the day I find you is the day that you die or something or other like that. That's what he said in the English dub. So when he was making his way toward Kagaya, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So is Kagaya going to die? I know he's been sick for, for a long time and why not? But still, like, I, I don't want him to die. And when he just showed up, like, in front of him and... You know, there I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, like as I was saying, when Iguro, excuse me, when she, Nazukawa mentioned Iguro and Tokito and him not being able to see them, he doesn't know where they are or whatnot. I'm like, are they involved in some kind of, like, did the demons attack him or something you know how he Shinazugawa just felt the eye on him and crushed it like maybe I don't know there's something going on with those two as well that we don't know like it's not just that they are doing something you know normal or something but they're involved in something dangerous you know that's where my mind went after that but I'm like oh my god that anything like I'm like I was just here in shock and just like stressed out and just worried like oh my god and what the, like after the title show they were talking about the next episode and the title of the next episode and then they, they, i think they said they actually write unite or something or other like i'm like yeah uh y'all definitely need to unite because your master is clearly in danger right now i mean he's not gonna be able to do anything he's sick he's laying on a bed his wife is there 
I, I, I don't know what the wife can do against Muzan. I don't think she can do anything. So it's like... Okay, so there's that. The title of this episode was uh, about the Stone Hashira, right? And I'm like, okay, I'm looking forward to hearing more about him. And his story was like... I was like, what the freak? He was taking care of all these kids. They were like family. That one dude there. The fact that I talked about him and then he showed up this episode. I am 100% sure he's him. I don't need to go back and look. Okay. I am 100% sure that it is him that was berating Zenitsu throwing, I think she, he was eating an apple or something, and he threw it at um, Zenitsu, like, why not? The fact that he betrayed all these people, and he had the nerve to, like, talk to Zenitsu like that? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Himejima, 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 sorry. Himejima was taking care of all these kids. You were supposed to come back before a, a, a certain amount, a certain time. You know, you had a curfew, basically. You decided to stay outside to miss curfew. A demon comes upon you. You're like, oh, I'm going to give you all these other people. So you, 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 you say, like, you don't eat me. You don't kill me. Himejima used to have the uh, wisteria instance like all around the place to keep demons away. You go and like shatter all those things, giving the demon free reign to come in there. The demon comes in, kills the children. Himejima that told the kids like to stand behind him that he was going to protect them. Some of them didn't listen. They wound up dying. It was the little girl that gave him the fish that listened to what he was saying in the back back the back there and himejima had to protect her so he just started pounding on this demon pounding on him pounding on him kill him killed him the little girl turns around tells people that he's the one that killed all the kids there like, are you freaking kidding me i know himejima said something basically sort of like i don't know he was he was trying to um absolve the little kid like he was she was maybe what she seen that not traumatized her and one or something or other like that but to turn it around and say that he's the one that killed everybody for real they put him in prison and it was the master that that saved him i and then now the master is in danger <sighs> freaking frag there's always a demon always a demon behind these people becoming demon slayers and hashiras always but in his case it was more than that it was betrayal from these kids well, from this kid. Because the others, uh, I'm not really gonna, you know. Well, even the little, the little kid that turned on him that said he's the one that killed everybody. I'm gonna give her somewhat of a pass. Not totally, but a little bit. Because, like, like I said, she's a little kid. If he, she was the age of the one that betrayed them, that led the demon there, and said that he's the one that killed everybody, then I would be like, yeah. uh uh-uh. Total betrayal. But she's a little kid so i can give her a pass but like and then because the demon was a demon and sun came up disappeared it's like there's no other proof that he's not the one that killed the kids you know so i can understand why people will believe this little kid and put him in prison still it's, it's completely wrong of course but yeah and i love that he acknowledged Tanjiro because after Tanjiro 
did the one show and he was dehydrated and then Himejima came and poured water on him, gave him water. And Himejima told him that he acknowledged him and that his actions were correct when he took the correct actions when he was in the village. And I'm like, village? Is he talking about the Soulsmith village? And then it was that that's what he was talking about. And he was mentioning when um Hontego Hontego was going after the um the swordsmiths that were running away, right? And then as Nezuko was there, she was like under the sun. There was no cover on her. And Tanjiro was like holding her, trying to protect her, trying to keep her from burning and everything. And Himejima was like, you made the right choice to go and save the, um, the, the villagers instead of protecting your, your sister. And then because of that, he's like, I acknowledge you. And I'm like, that's not, really what, that's not what happened. And Tanjiro was like, yeah, that's not what happened. It's like, it was Nesuko's choice. He's the one that made the choice for him. And he was forced to go after, cause he was hes- hesitating, you know. But something told, tells me, even though it was Nezuko that made the choice, I feel like, yes, he was hesitating, but at the end of the day, I feel like he was going to go and save um, the kids, the kids, the villagers, you know. But either way, that's, that's not here, neither here nor there. And he told him what happened, like it wasn't his choice. And... He, t- <laughs> he even asked him not to acknowledge him so easily or something or that like that. But the fact that Tanjiro is this honest person and everything, pure hearted and all of that, he's like, yeah, I acknowledge you. And that's when he went into his backstory and, and whatnot, which is just, ugh. Zenitsu. Well, after, um, Tanjiro did the one show, Inosuke was also like tempura tempura and then he also like he pushed it he didn't get to one show but he moved the boulder and Zenitsu was there was like I'm the only one left I'm the only one left and then his um Chuntaro showed up and gave him this letter and I'm like who's this letter from you know after that, we don't see Zenitsu. Zenitsu, the, the last we saw of Zenitsu, he was sitting on the boulder. His back was turned to Tanjiro. Tanjiro was bringing him the fish that they had baked or whatever that he didn't get to eat. He brought it to him and Tanj- he was just there all somber, like saying stuff like he needs to do what he needs to do, telling Tanjiro to do what he needs to do. And I'm like, like I said, I don't like seeing him like that. And then his face was bloody. It wasn't like that uh, before he uh, after, yeah before he got the letter. He, he wasn't like that. But yeah, he was all bloodied up and all of that. And I'm like, what happened? You know, like I said, the only person that I thought would be sending him a letter would be his old the, the old man the grandpa that trained him the hashira that trained him but then the way it felt like he was also sad so i'm like did he die did something happen to him like i don't know and as i was saying when the letter came i thought there was only gonna be two people that the letter might be from but after that i was taking it back in my mind that it might also have come from the master like i I don't know but the two people that i said this letter what could be from was the old man and the dude that berated him i don't know his name so when that dude showed up in this episode in the flashback he made you flashback i'm like okay there has got to be some kind of connection. Why, why did they include him in this flashback? Like, why did they focus on him during that flashback with Zenitsu? Clearly, this character is going to be important some way, or he's going to do some terrible because what he did to Himejima and the kids, like, that's, that's terrible. So this character clearly has a, a, a a bad bone, like he's evil, 
clearly or just is selfish i don't know either way you're evil for you to give like get other these other people kill you're evil to me i don't know you are evil so when exactly in the timeline these clearly he must have i don't know we got he made him i feel like he made him a story came before zeniso's backstory you know with this particular character so did he after he did whatever it is that he did there did he how did does he even relate to like the old man i don't know like i, I have so many questions when it comes to the character uh, uh i don't know the, 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 i feel like he ha also has to come back in some ways especially when it comes to zenito because he's the one that he was telling zenito that he's worthless and wasting the hashira's time and stuff like that but here is zenitsu undergoing this hashira training getting stronger every day and i feel like that has to come back in some ways and also does himijima not know where that boy is does he not know that he was somehow related to the old grandpa i don't know it's like i have so many questions so many questions um i don't think there's anything else that happened this episode no um <laughs> after his training with um himejima ended don't you know when to give you and as he was getting there and i was hearing like the sword clash i knew it was gonna be those two battling like i knew it because the intro shows them um battling each other and when i first saw the intro i'm like why are they fighting you know until they show tokito no not tokito uh iguro and um um Sanemi, you know talking about battling each other to further their training and something or other like that so i knew that that was what was happening in the intro so when tanjiro was heading to Giyos and then you hear the bat the, like the swords clashing all that i'm like oh, so that's what must be happening and that's exactly what's happening they were fighting 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 and then their um their swords broke the wooden swords broke and then their um suddenly is like uh let's kill each other with office or something and that's when tanjiro like jumped in and he's like i'm not gonna let you kill him or something or other like that and then he just like comes out and asked him if they were fighting over red bean paste and mochi or something or other like that and i'm like huh and then he's like i, I know you like it because I, I can smell that on you like when we were training back at your compound and whatnot and i'm like okay sure maybe he does like red bean soup paste whatever but how would that correlate to them fighting over that that doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> he punched him so let me punch him and left and i'll give you was like oh so he does like it so now i'm gonna be uh carrying those around each time i see him i'm gonna give him one and then we can become friends <laughs> oh no that's funny so yeah that's what happened this episode i am so worried for the master so worried and i'm so worried for zenitsu as well because i'm like mm, i don't like seeing him like that thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you want to see my reaction to the next episode you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and the link to that episode is going to be available in the pinned comment so just click on it and check it out and i'll see you next time c'est quelle affaire de étouffe-moi C'est en fond de quelqu'un, pardon, faut taper doucement. Même si c'est photo, vous pilez, pardonnez-moi.